Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy Black and Oli here, and I told you I'd be back with another video to try and break down this Nintendo Labo video, the newest construction, construction cardboard from Nintendo. I don't think anybody saw this coming. Now, there was a bit of teasing before this unveiled, saying that this was aimed towards kids and that we shouldn't get our hopes up all that much. It was an all new way to play your Nintendo Switch in a way that no one ever thought before, and this is what this is, Nintendo Labo. It's going to come out in two configurations. It's going to come out in two configurations. I'll trip over my words there. There's going to be the uh, standard set, which comes with uh, five or six games uh, retailing at around $70. And there's going to be a robot set, which is going to be a bit more expensive. But you'll see why in a little bit. You're probably wondering how Nintendo Labo became a thing and why we should even be excited for it. Like I said, it's a brand new way to play your Nintendo Switch. I want to get my hands on one as soon as possible, but how does it work? How are we even going to get all of these inputs and different controls that they're showing in the video? Well, let's break it down. Now, the most important thing to realize about the Nintendo Switch are the Joy-Cons. The Joy-Cons are the focus of this entire presentation. Six million views, it's only a couple minutes long, and it definitely got everybody sufficiently hype. So I've got my Switch right here. The important thing to realize is the Joy-Cons. The left Joy-Con, for all intents and purposes, is a standard uh, standard controller, a Wiimote on crack. Um, it's got the HD rumble. It's got the, uh, the, the motion controls. It's got the gyro tracking. It's got everything, all right? That's fine. The thing that makes this what it is is the right Joy-Con. Notice I have, yes, two matching blue Joy-Cons because that is how I roll. And you'll notice that if you look at the bottom of your right Joy-Con, many people who might not have even played 1-2-Switch realizes that this is part of their Joy-Con. is an IR receiver, infrared receiver. Uh, if you've ever had a security system at home or lights that activate when you walk in front of them, that's IR technology, motion sensing, and it can detect different configurations, colors, and all that good stuff to make a response, to send a command to Nintendo Switch to play this sound or do this one thing or whatever you want it to do in one two switch a game that you should play with your friends pretty fun the ir receiver can measure the amount of light that passes by it so there was a game in one two switch called um, sandwich eating contest in which you would just chomp your mouth open and close om, nom, 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 and it would it would measure the amount of light that came in and it would chomp and you would be able to to, to eat a sandwich and you could see how many sandwiches that you would be able to eat. So they were like, all right, that idea is cool, but how can we expand this? Bam, Nintendo Labo. So we're gonna pause the video, go through each part as quickly and succinctly as possible. Now there's different configurations. Look at all these games that you can play. So this, this intro set's gonna come with eight different games, okay, that you can house your Switch in, insert Joy-Cons in different ways, and play the Switch like you've never played it before. And what's funny is I feel like the people who are going to buy this up the most are not the young children demographic that they were originally aiming towards. It is the people my age, the 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 mid 25 year olds, the 30 year olds, the 40 year olds, the people who grew up on Nintendo from its golden days to now. And I mean, I feel like Nintendo's days are always golden, but this right here, it feels like the best time in the world to be a Nintendo owner, uh, especially being the Switch. I was a little concerned that the company would not be able to keep up with the, the powerhouses of the Xbox and the PlayStation, but Nintendo seems to have not really cared about power. It's all about the experience. And that's not to say that Microsoft and Sony don't care about that also, but Nintendo has always chosen to innovate the most in terms of user, inact uh, user interactivity, um, just just the, the memories that you take when you play a Nintendo system. Now, that IR system that I was telling you about, let's look at the first configuration that, that kind of gives it away. So, this piano thing, this is the forefront of this presentation. You'll notice that the guy takes off the Joy-Con right, you dock the Nintendo Switch, but bam, where does, where does the music come from? Well, you just throw that right up in there, right? And the IR receiver is gonna be pointing, looking at all those keys from the left-hand side. What you don't see in the video is that all of these keys are coated with a white reflective tape. When the tape comes in line with the IR sensor, it's going to produce musical notes for the system to play back to you. So yes, 
You can be your own Beethoven, Bach, whatever classical uh, piano player that you want to be, or you can be awful like me. That's who you can be, and I think that's really, really cool. No need to buy an expensive keyboard. You've got that. This is a house. Let me go back here. A house in which the Joy-Con R, which we're just talking about now, is placed in the top, and that's going to detect you turning a lever to, to undo a faucet. Maybe the house is drowning. I don't know. We've got this robot that is controlled by itself. It's got legs. It looks like a little bug. Something you see at a reboot or something like that. Shout outs to reboot. We've got handlebars for a motorcycle game. It's got a brake. What? And like I said, the IR part is the most important part, but we can't neglect the tilt, the pitch, the yaw. All of that is going into the experience of the game which makes it seem like a mini arcade set. All of these out of the box ideas that Nintendo maybe didn't have another chance to try. Maybe this is a big guinea pig experiment where it's, where it's like, all right, these guys sold 10 million copies of this, uh, 10 million units of the Switch. Let's see what else they'll buy. And Nintendo, I'm, I'm gonna buy whatever you're selling. That's just, that's just what it is, I'm sorry. So. You'll see that you've got a foot pedal for some sort of drum thing, and that's the tilt going on. You know, so <clears throat> it's not like there's anything special going on there except for tilt, but the fact that you're actively depressing your foot onto a pedal just makes the experience more real for whatever game that'll be. <clears throat> We've got some arcade fishing going on, and the 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 left Joy-Con is it's rotating over and over and over again, which is going to produce a response for uh, the, the reel to be pulled back in or let forward, whatever. You've got the motorcycle pitch and shift. Look, if you just take your Joy-Cons, I'm turning, I'm turning, I want to brake. Like, all that is all that is made a cooler experience. you got your own little bug robot here. That's where the HD rumble comes in. You activate that, it can shift left and right and shimmy on towards you like a little cute old bug. I think that's really cool. And look, you just... Uh, you just put a faucet in a house like why would you do that and then you turn on the water you're gonna drown the jelly beans hopefully nobody lives there that's awful um you can control little men with the hd rumble and the hd rumble is not like your traditional rumble pack you'll be able to feel rumble like in individual parts of the controller and if you have one two switch you'll know what i'm talking about you'll know how precise that rumble is now the part of the video that really blew me away was the fact that you can assume a giant fighting robot. And you'll see that in this box, it's that box that that little kid is in, is the whole reason that this robot setup works. Inside the box are all those little pieces of white reflective tape that are gonna be measuring all of the movements of the robot. Cause you're like, it's only two Joy-Cons and there's no VR. How am I gonna have all these intricate movements of a robot accurately be transformed in the game? Well, first of all, you got the robot's feet right down here, and you got wires coming out. So whenever you pull back a punch, whenever you are, you, he's ready, he's got, look at this, Hajime no Ippo style. Right, he's ready, to he's ready to throw the gazelle punch right there. All that movement in, in his legs and his arm is being translated back into that box, and it's being sent back to the Switch console for, for that realistic movement. And I think that's really, really cool. That's actually one-to-one -one movement. It's kind of janky, but it works out better than I think we were expecting. And you're gonna be able to put all these things together yourself. The Switch is going to tell you step-by-step step how to put it together. We've got the IKEA level instructions where you, you, you don't know, you, you call Nintendo. <laughs> Help me get, these, get this stuff together. And, um, I just think this is the coolest thing ever. And like I was saying before, the robot section is is not part of the initial set. So you gotta make sure that if you want to experience all of these, you're gonna have to shell out, you know, about 150 bucks, but I think it's gonna be super cool. And of course we're gonna have videos on this. I think this is the coolest time waster I've ever seen in my life. And if you look, there's an IR check here if you didn't notice in the video. And like I said, this is how all the technology works right here. It's going to look for different configurations of that white tape. If you open up the box here, you'll see that look. All these wires that are connected, that's that's how it works. When the IR receiver 
sees these these pieces of tape move back and forth, it's going to instantaneously transmit that data and you become the robot. I just hope that they include enough wires for my big butt to uh, to walk around and pulverize things with. So I think that's pretty cool. So Nintendo Labo is coming with a whole bunch of stuff. Excuse me. Um, there's piano, fishing pole, motorbike, and you can just you can just have at it. So it comes with five default projects, seventy dollars, uh, sixty nine ninety nine on four twenty memes, and RC racers, a fishing rod, a house, a motorbike, and the piano. I can't play the piano, but I think I'm going to be able to learn. And then there's the robot kit, which is the other one. It's going to cost eighty dollars, and you get to become Mega Man. Literally, there's a lot of pieces, but like I said, hopefully these cords are long enough. Are you going to get a Nintendo Labo? What do you think about Nintendo's outside the box, outside the cardboard box mentality? It's working for them. It's it's got me sold. I'm a, I'm about to be middle aged man, and I've never been more excited to play video games. Let me know what you think in the description. We should read the description, but let me know in the comments what you think of this. Is it crazy? Is Nintendo crazy? I think they are, and I, I love where they're going with it. If you like the video, hit it with a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Helps the channel out a lot. Um, we're going to continue to cover more Nintendo content and news as it releases. We got Dragon Ball Fighters coming out uh, very soon. I'm going to be uploading videos on that as well, and also League of Legends content and news when it is appropriate. Guys, thank you so much for watching. It's your boy Nola. Until the next video, which will be very soon, don't forget to follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash blackanola. I'm also on Twitch at twitch.tv slash blackanola. And uh, all that stuff is in the description. Share the video with your friends. That's all I got to say today. Guys, have a wonderful time. See you later.